So today we're going to try to bend a piece of aluminum here um, with a magnet. And the problem is that magnets uh, are not attracted to aluminum. Um, aluminum is not a ferromagnetic material. So how are we going to do this? Well, first let's uh, have a look at the equations. So here's our trick, is how to bend a piece of aluminum with a magnet. Here's our piece of aluminum. Aluminum is not magnetic, um, but maybe we can come up with another way. So charged particles, we know, bend in a magnetic field. Um, there's a force on them due to the velocity of the charged particles um, in a direction that's perpendicular to the magnetic field, and that generates this force, which is perpendicular to both of these. Now, an electrical current is the movement of charged particles. So we have a similar force, which is a force is equal to the current um, times this uh, distance vector, so the direction of the current, um, in the cross product with the magnetic field. So this is a similar uh, formula to F equals QV cross B. So current is defined as the movement of positive charges. So we can use our right hand rule for this. So we can take our hand, we can point our fingers in the direction of the current, this L vector. We can bend them in the direction of the magnetic field and the force will point uh, perpendicular to both the current and the magnetic field. So let's look at our example here. If we run an electrical current through our piece of aluminum, this L vector is then pointing downward. We put a magnetic field um, pointing uh, inward here, and we would get a force that um, using our right hand, so our fingers are pointing down, we bend them into the board, and we get a force here to the right. So let's see if we can um, make an example here of this back at our experiment. So here we've got a uh, piece of aluminum and now I'm going to put an electrical current through this. So there's an electrical current going through this, uh, this strip of aluminum which you can kind of see here. And now we're going to take a magnetic field. We want the magnetic field pointing inward. So that means I want, um, I think I want it like this direction. And here we see that the magnetic field is pointing in inward. So I can do uh, V cross with B and my uh, thumb points in the direction of the force, which is this way. Now I can reverse the magnetic field and we should see the force on this aluminum bend the opposite direction. And indeed we do. And so physics works and it's not magic, it's physics. So I'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching. It looks like I survived today. Um, but if you want to find out if I survive the next experiment, then um, remember to click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.